Good day, Sunday School students. I know that this week's lesson is going to be fun for you. Josh asked if I would do a greeting to welcome you for uh, Sunday School and to uh, be able to encourage you in your uh, Christian walk and your worship and your study as you learn about God's love for, for you and I. This week's session is going to be about ants. And we're going to learn about ants and how good of workers they are. They're one of the smallest animals uh, in the world, and yet they can produce so much uh, work around them. Um, if you've ever had ant houses on the sidewalk and you've kicked them or flattened them during the day and you come back in the evening and all of a sudden they're there again, it's amazing how they work without uh, leadership and they just carry out their work. I actually think it's because of their six legs that they're so strong and efficient as animals. So learn about that ant. We'll be back to uh, close the session. You're even gonna have a little story about the slugger, the sluggard, and um, how they're the opposite from the ant. And uh, so we encourage you to consider the work uh, that you do, that you stick to it, and that you enjoy it, even when your mom and dad ask you. Have a great session. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verses 6 through 8. King Solomon was young when he became ruler of Israel after his father David. One night, God spoke to him in a dream. Ask for anything you want me to give you. What? Solomon had just been given the greatest gift of all time. He could have asked for anything. Unlimited money, the power to defeat all of his enemies, or even to be the best loved, longest living king of all time. Instead though, Solomon made a different ask. Lord, you have now made me king, but I'm only a little child. I don't know how to carry out my duties, so give me a heart that understands. Then I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. Solomon asked for wisdom and God gave it to him. In fact, Solomon became known as the wisest man to ever live. Over the course of his life, he shared many wise sayings that were later recorded in the book of Proverbs. These sayings are to help people do what is just and fair, to help young people learn wisdom. Only fools refuse to listen and learn. The wisdom recorded in Proverbs gives godly advice about nearly everything, from using words wisely to staying away from trouble. But the most famous passages talk about the value of hard work. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, it has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. When was the last time you paid attention to an ant, other than the one that you were gonna squash on the kitchen floor? To better understand what Solomon means about work, well, I think it's time we take a closer look. Did you know that there are about one million ants on earth for every single human? Yikes! My skin is crawling right now. But just look at how amazing these little guys are. Like Solomon said, nobody lays out a set of rules for them. Nobody offers them an allowance or more screen time if they finish their work. God made them in such an incredible way that they stick with it and get the job done. In fact, some ants can lift up to 50 times their own weight. If you were that strong, you could lift an entire car. And ants use that super strength to store up their food just like we see in Proverbs. And ants also work smart. They leave a special trail of chemicals called pheromones that tells them where they've been so they don't get lost or repeat themselves. And ants are incredibly creative. They actually farm aphids in order to have a constant supply of the honeydew aphids release. And the ants' creativity doesn't stop there. 
In times of flooding, ants will even protect the queen by forming a lifeboat with their own bodies. Just like Solomon reminds us, ants do whatever it takes to gather up the food they need and to protect their colony. They know how to get the job done, and that's with only about 250,000 brain cells. But you? God made you with 10 million brain cells. He's given you everything you need to work strong, smart, and creatively. And because God has given us so much, there's so much more we can do. In the New Testament, Luke records some of Jesus' words. Much will be required of everyone who has been given much. You are creative and strong. You have a brain that works like no one else's. You are determined. And most of all, you are created in God's image. That means that you can work hard at whatever it takes to show love to God and the people He's made. Sometimes that might look like helping raise funds to provide clean water for kids on the other side of the world. Sometimes that might look like cleaning your room before your mom has to remind you five times. Or working hard to help your little sister to build an epic Lego palace. Whatever your work, remember Solomon's wisdom. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, it has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. Be wise, work hard. God has given you everything you need to follow through. Well, good uh, day, students. This is Dan again, Dan Dixon. I'm looking so forward to having you in Sunday school when we get back together after this COVID stuff. But uh, I bet you had a great time with the ant story and the sluggard and uh, the Bible verses and all of the things around leadership and working together and um, staying with it, stick stick to itiveness. So um, blessings on your rest of your day as you go about it. Thanks for joining Sunday School uh, and the lessons uh, this week. And we look forward to maybe more ant stories or something like that next week. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.